Hello and welcome everyone. This is Steam Hexagon and we have our problem statement SS591 that is deep learning based cyclone intensity estimation using INSAT 3DIR imagery. So the technologies that we use, the major ones are TensorFlow, OpenCV, Keras, GDAL and Rasterio. The procedure or the solution for our methodology goes as such. We first read the images. The images are from inside 3D data set. So they are in the form of TIFF file that we further convert to JPEG file. There are a 45 image format. Then we have the object segmentation. For this part, we have three different algorithms. That is MARSC, RCNN, Detectron2, and K-means. Further, we have motion prediction for which we have again tried two different algorithms. That is MPA, that is mean path adjustment, and then CNN plus LSTM. At the end, we have cyclone classification and intensity estimation. So as mentioned in the procedure earlier, for the object segmentation part, we consider three different algorithms, mask RCNN, Detectron2, and K-means clustering. Out of the three, mask RCNN and Detectron2 require manual annotation and k-means clustering uses OpenCA for clustering, hence the manual annotation is not required. Due to this, k-means clustering's training time is less than that of mask RCNN and Detectron2, while the accuracies for the three are comparable, and that is why we use k-means clustering for the next step. After getting the output from k-means clustering, we now have motion prediction. Now for this, we have again considered two different algorithms, that is MPA and CNN plus LSTM. In MPA, we have four different images at four different timestamps, that is T, T minus one and T minus two. And using these three images, we try to predict our fourth image at timestamp T plus one. In the CNN plus LSTM, our model architecture consists of a batch normalization layer, three LFLBs, a flattening layer, two LSTMs, and a dense layer. Our model has been trained for 100 epochs. Comparing the two algorithms, we have preferred CNN plus LSTM because this model is tuned with different hyperparameters to increase the accuracy. We have now reached the final step of our project, that is cyclone classification and intensity estimation. Our classification is based on two different factors, temperature and wind. Any cloud that has a surface temperature less than 200 Kelvin falls into the cyclone category. Now the type of cyclone determined through the wind speed. Our intensity estimation is based on a five day format that is for 120 hours. We showcase the predicted minimum and maximum wind speeds of the cyclone for that particular day. Because of the lack of our current data set, we used an alternate data set to check the working of our model. In the future, we would like to decrease the model's loss and increase its motion prediction accuracy. The model is currently referring the HERDA dataset to calculate intensity due to the unavailability of data by ISRO. Hence, once the required data is available, we can retrain the model on the data and estimate the intensity. Our final aim would be to incorporate the model or trajectory and intensity analysis into fully functional web application. The last slide of our PPT consists of the references that we use during the process. And with that, I would like to conclude our presentation. Thank you for your time.